State your name for the record. Michael Lux, 2020 preseason has now officially began here in Houston. So one of the things that we talked about is we're going to set these goals that we're working on mechanically. They're short-term, everyday goals, right? Mm -hmm. But then we also have long-term goals. So what do we want our miles per hour to be at the end of the preseason? If your miles per hour was 49 at top today, what do you want to throw at the end of the preseason, Michael? Like 53, so that's our long-term goal. But what we're going to go over today is short-term goals to help us get to that long-term goal. So let's draw a couple of lines. Let's see how we're starting to bring back our legs, see if there's anything that we can work on. Hold on just a minute as I fix this line once I get you ready to start. Oh, there you are. So I'm going to redraw this line and put this line right on the corner of your body. I'm going to use the right color. Let's move yellow. And put that right here because ASMI talks about the first motion that we want to do as pitchers, high velocity pitchers, because this is what they do is they get their body moving forward. Look how we're starting to move our body back. Do you see that? We're moving it this way. So what I want you to do to fix that is I want you to get your feet closer together and put more of the weight on your back leg. That's a rock back. So that's one of the many goals that we're going to work to throw 53 miles an hour. Then as you're lifting up your leg, we want to get our body moving forward. So as we lift our leg, we're pushing our hip forward, but our body is staying back. I want to get my body moving forward a little bit more as we bring up the leg. That's mini goal number two. And then see how we're turning over here in our ipsilateral tilt? We want to stand up tall. And you know what we want to be looking at? We want to be looking at the target when we're doing this, okay? Remember, we don't want to turn that glove over early until the front foot lands, but because we're leaning over early, that means I got to turn that to help stand up. So that help that movement right there from here to here helps you straighten up. Imagine if you were straight to start. That would be one less move you have to do. Right here, if we were to land, would be a good position, actually right about here, would be a good position you for you to land on to land in, to have this elbow a little bit on the target and this in a quarter cock position. However, look how we're landing on our toe. So we're gonna fix that in the preseason too, where we wanna land heel toe or flat, okay? And then from here, pulling the shoulders, your shoulders are pulling out, they're not pulling down because we had to straighten up. So you're gonna see your elbow get down here real low. Now it's eventually gonna come up, there it comes up, but look where the head is. The head's going way out here. All that's caused from ipsilateral tilt, so we're going to work on that. What I like this is I like how you lead with your chest, Michael. What's that remind you of? Um, bow and arrow, right? So all that energy is stored up into the bow, and the arrow is going to be flying through here in a minute. But because we pulled out early... Out of, because we because we had the ipsilateral tilt, everything's pulling out, we're pulling off. So you do have a pretty easy chance if we work on this ipsilateral tilt to get to 53 miles an hour. Because we don't want to pull our body out here, we want to bring our chest forward. And once you do that, your velocity is going to start going up. So are you ready to start to work on these mini goals? All right, let's work on it, bub.